Well, I got to tell you, the leaks are getting absolutely outrageous, even for my standards, as we just keep getting more and more information regarding the future and the development of Apex Legends, which is honestly probably one of the leakiest ships I've ever seen. But looking at Hollywood and just entertainment in general, there is a lot of leaks that are really coming to the public more recently and arguably because of the pandemic situation than anything else but what up it's your boy nwp and we're back at it once again with another video today we'll be taking a look at some new survival slot items that were leaked to the public and uh could be coming to the game in a very near future with some very serious implications but first guys if you enjoy the channel how about taking the time right now to like this video and if you're new smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that i drop a new video so let's get into this one we've got a lot of stuff happening throughout the season including a giveaway for valkyrie's heirloom so check the link in the description down below you'll find multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries now clearly the survival items have been game changers in their own right bringing a ton of depth to the game that we didn't have before the heat shield and the respawn beacon are absolutely crucial tools that used properly bring game-changing benefits but it looks like the man the myth the legend and good friend of the channel i loot games has found a remote banner recovery tool from inside sources and it looks to be a very very interesting device with some very strong implications for the future of gameplay now a lot of people have called for similar things to be added to loba and we currently kind of have something similar to this if you consider the ability that crypto has with his drone to recover banners but realistically speaking we don't have anybody that can from a distance get a banner without any real effort and this could have a lot of different meaning and really it could have a lot of implications depending on what type of game mode you're playing and who's playing in the right hands it could be an absolutely destructive tool that allows you to bring back your team in the midst of a gunfight with a ton of loot available to them but at the same time in other people's hands it could just be a way to bring a few more kills back into the game and help somebody get their 20 bomb on accident so it's very interesting to say the least now even more interesting is how well these items actually work together which is kind of funny because if you have a heat shield a mobile respawn beacon and a banner recovery tool you can do a lot more than if you had none of those objects but if you had all three of them well that's probably the best combination you could have and you realistically cannot have all three of them and use them functionally ah but you can because if your teammates go down and you can actually loot their banners and get them back you may have already been able to snag a different you know respawn beacon or heat shield etc and it may give you that time to stay in the zone just a little bit longer and so on and so forth but it does look like that ezra has also brought us some information regarding a few different devices that could be coming like a medium shield capacitor as well as a few other items like the titan battery and arc tools now what i don't understand really is what the titan battery could do in the game unless it was to charge and use some form of robotic device that we have available to us at some point so whether it be companion specters um activating the gun systems of a titan or something like that so that you can use uh, some of its functionality or you know have a sentry gun similar to what was seen with blisk's ultimate ability a while back a few different ideas clearly that are available there for the battery but i don't know which way respawn is actually intending to go with them we do know that with the shield capacitor the idea is more or less to have the ability to use watson's pylon 
in a non-Watson-esque kind of manner. And I've said this before, as we actually have seen different things leak to the public since the beginning of Apex, like a shield generator that was never actually added in the game, but it did look very similar to what we already have with Gibraltar's dome shield. And that kind of made me originally think so long ago, what if they started adding items that functionally mimic a legend's abilities? So sometimes you actually have, say, the ability to use one of Gibraltar's abilities uh, on the fly, or you have the ability to use one of Pathfinder's abilities on the fly, or more recently, with what we've seen, you have the ability to protect yourself out of the zone and put in a mobile respawn beacon. So, I mean, there's already things that are coming in there that aren't necessarily legend abilities, but are unique abilities in their own right. So I think it would be really interesting if they started giving some of the functionality that other legends have to people for finding, you know, different items on the map. And it, it actually adds a really, really unique depth to the gameplay that you can't get anywhere else except maybe by playing something like Hyperscape. But we all know how that worked out. Not exactly the most popular game in the last four years. And... Uh, while it did have some unique ideas and uh, some really cool ideas, it didn't have gameplay that was suitable or fun for anyone to really play. And that, uh, you know, is probably the most crucial part of making a game specifically is going to be making the game feel good when people are playing it. If it doesn't feel good, they're not going to play it. And if they're not going to play it, it's basically a waste of time to keep on making it. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all we have to say about that. But I'd love to hear about this from your point of view, guys. How do you feel about a remote bannery, bannery, remote banner recovery device? Do you think that that would actually be something that you would add into the game yourself and utilize? Or do you think it's kind of just a waste of a spot? Now, this could actually be an item that has since been canceled because I Loot Games has actually stated that this is something he's been waiting to see if anything shows up in the game files before releasing and that he's actually had the information for quite some time. And considering that we've been seeing different information from Ezra over the past few months and weeks, we really haven't seen anything similar to that get shown off. So it could be something that's gone to the wayside just simply because of the implications that it actually could have for gameplay. But let me know what your opinion is down below. Clearly, the survival slot is here to stay, and we will be seeing items trickle into that spot over time. And we do have a ton of other things that have been shown off in the game files, like the cryo grenade. And these type of items really do add a little bit of flavor to the game that we potentially don't already have. And for me, that's something that I would like to see in the game is just more unique functions and strategic capabilities that make it a little bit more than what it already is. The hero shooter aspect of it really is cool, and it's very, very unique because it's a battle royal. But at the same time, having some more of control over the function of my abilities and maybe having access to things outside of my team's toolkit would be very interesting and add something to the game where you might feel trapped otherwise because you just didn't pick the right legend for your comp and that's where the battle royal and the hero shooter run into the problems that they have when you look at any other hero shooter like overwatch in particular when you actually get down to it you can see what the enemy team is going to use before they actually use it and that gives you time to really know what you're going to do but in apex legends you have to account for basically every single legend and any random combination of those legends being active in the match so having access to some abilities that are not on your team might be a really really favorable 
piece of itemry to pick up. Itemry? Is that a word? Oh yeah, guys, if you want to continue this conversation, head on over to the social media links, give them a like, a favor, a follow, whatever you haven't done already. It will be greatly appreciated and go a long way to helping the channel here in season 13, as well as the future moving forward. But as you can see here, we're about to uh, get a easy clap dub on this fuse, just using the walls to block doors left and right. And Mr. Jumpy Bumpy gets uh, smoked out by a Loba from behind. But hey, here's another video that I think you guys should check out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to see any new items in Apex Legends or any other game if you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.